this test just one here. Um, I just recently got another figure, and it wasn't a yet ex very expensive figure. It was just well on pre-order, and it was quite cheap. So I, I jumped on the uh, uh, on the price and at the time, and uh, received it last week. I think it was. This is the box. Uh, the actor is William Marshall, who played Black Yellow. He did two movies uh, back in the black exploitation days uh, in the 1970s, early 1970s. I think he made the first movie in 1971, and it was a top hit. Uh, it actually hit, hit box office and uh, made, well, something like uh, 30 million, and that was a lot back then. So it really took off, and it was one of the films that I thought was bloody scary because he was so aggressive when he was attacking, and he was, gra he was growling when he was attacking, he was like a dog who's crazy. And uh, it scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. And uh, I remember watching it, I think I was about eight when I saw the film, and that was in the 74, 76, 76 and couldn't sleep, couldn't sleep at all. I was all petrified. <laughs> so it brings back memories. There's the inside of the box. You know, it was just the real soul cinema classic really and to me it's a part of my my childhood and uh, I, back then I wasn't uh, didn't like horrors that much, but I still watched the whole film. So, did I? Did I not like them, or did I like them? And so, so having it in hand, uh, it's. I've got to say, it's. It, it really is quite good. To, it is a. Don't get me wrong. It's a. It's a cheap figure, and I've still got to. Uh, do some work to it for some reason. Um, the arms, he's double jointed in a, in a way that I've never seen before, and his his arms uh, fold backwards. And if you are to spin the arms around to have them folding um, with the elbows elbows back out the correct way, you can't lower his arms down because it's a half ball. Um, socket and there is a join in the arms three quarters up the front the forearm right and it, but it's quite it's quite solid and it's quite hard to I, I don't think it can pull off and I did see this figure on a uh, Rezo Rezo did a video ages ago on on him and he actually broke broke his arm trying to pull it off or, or some I think Mike was short short Mike Sean pulled pulled the arm and broke or something like that. So I I have to be very cautious when I'm pulling the arms, I was trying to fix this bend problem. But it's very uh, sideshow old classic. It's got the the uh, extendable bar support, which I actually use to go around the neck. Okay, instead of around his waist because it's got that silver chrome plating. So around the neck you can't see it. The cape covers it up and it's very effective. So uh, that's just something, a tip that I can let you know about if you want to tr uh, try using it that way instead. Or you can go under his jacket. But then you've got that big bulky rod going up his jacket. And it doesn't look very pleasant. And it takes up that bagginess around his waist of his suit. The head sculpt is, as you can see, it's it's quite good. I'd have to say this is the main feature of the of the. I'll get a little bit closer. That is very good. Just you've got the hair on the cheeks, just like when he turns into Dracula. Well, not Dracula, a vampire, and he ravishes these his victims, and. He was a prince. I can't remember the name of him, but he was bitten by Dracula and uh, and uh, locked in a coffin and uh, with his wife to die. And in the film, was 
he, he meets a lady that looks just like his wife and he's convinced that it is his wife re reincarnated and uh, pursues her only to uh, be broken hearted I'll say that I won't tell you at the end of the film in case you haven't seen it <sighs> but love the cape love the silver lining inside it's got a little string um, loop that goes around the thumb as you can see which holds the cape up perfectly the if you see if you want to check out a uh, video that Wendy and Jason have done on the bomb show go ahead and uh, they'll show you the breakdown and, and the clothes off and everything what the doll's body looks like they didn't say anything about the arm problem but uh, I'm telling you there is a there's definitely an arm problem so I just want to do a quick video just to let you know the prices have gone up with the this company that I've, I purchased it from so I wouldn't I wouldn't be paying that price um, I can't reveal the company's name because I don't want to um, don't want to insult them in any way but if you can get it for around a hundred dollars I would go for it but I wouldn't be paying more than a hundred dollars unless you're a classic you're a classic victim and you and you have to get it by all means pay the extra price because the the sculpt itself does represent really well although the company I bought it from was um, using a, an original ad from Adams Toys or the, um, at the company that made this and this that company actually was saying that there was two extra heads there's one, uh, there's one with the maggots on it and there's also the original actor's face without the fangs William Marshall uh, it didn't come with that so the company shouldn't really be displaying that that advertisement because it's misleading and if someone was to pay the extra money that uh, it's gone up to I, I think they'll be very disappointed and very angry so be very careful uh, mine was under a hundred dollars that's all I'm gonna say okay hope you enjoyed my my uh, display of blackula I'll just show you the base that's all there is to it guys no extra hands nothing else just the straight body that's it what you see here is what you get and it is very cool if you like that sort of thing okay I'll give you some photos quick photos test just one out catch ya